I'd rather I'd rather play in front of a full stadium here in my football kit than speak to one person that I didn't know. I just always have been really uncomfortable speaking, speaking about myself. Which is why I love playing football. I, I like being part of a team where it's not just about you, it's about everybody. And it is where I feel most comfortable. Lucy Bronze, Champions League winner. You are the BBC Women's Footballer of the Year. The Women's Player of the Year, Lucy Bronze. Please welcome Lucy Bronze. That's what Lucy Bronze can do. My dad's Portuguese, mum's English, and in Portugal, it's just the way the names go is that you take your mum's maiden name and then you take your father's surname. So my mum's maiden name happened to be tough. I'm kind of lucky that my name kind of represents who I am. From stabs it home! That's in towards Lucy Bronze. That's the touch. That's in! My brother adored football and I just wanted to be just like him. And I got super competitive that I wanted to be better than him. You know, I wanted to beat him all the time, even though he was bigger than me. He was the one that kind of opened the door, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. My mum used to just give my brother boots. So my brother was two years older, so as soon as he grew out of his, I just got past his, and they were too big for me, and, and I'm flopping about, but I didn't care. And then the first pair of football boots she bought me, they were white, but she got me studs. I was so proud of these white football boots. They were my boots. I was always going to play football, no matter what. I think there was three football fields literally just next door to my house. I used to just walk down to the boys' team, and that's where we used to play all the games. And that was the last boys' team that I played for, was just down the road from me. Before I got told, you know, you're going to have to stop playing because you're a girl. The closest girls' team was an hour and a half away. I had to meet all these new people that I didn't know. That I'm socially so awkward. I, I turned up and I'd be like this, and I wouldn't speak to anyone. Even just things like that held me back a little bit with my social anxiety. It made it harder when I was 11, but then at the same time, it, I kind of got pushed into situations that ultimately it's made it easier growing up that I've been forced to do those kind of things. The person who first spotted the potential was my coach called Ray when I played in Annick. He specifically went up to my mum and was like, you need to make sure Lucy keeps playing because she's going to play for England one day. And he was the one that kind of sparked that idea in her head that there was something more and it was possible and, and, I, and I was good enough to do it. Yeah, so this one isn't mine for a game day. Share it with uh, Mum Belly. I was this young kid that was hungry for success. And I remember I turned up for my first day of training for England, super excited. And I banged my knee just on the floor and it just blew up. They ran in and was like, surgeon's coming now, you need to have surgery now, otherwise you might lose your leg because your whole knee's infected. Under 19, England coach called and was like, you're not gonna be fit enough to play for England in the summer. We've got a World Cup, we've got a Euros, and you won't be able to play, so we're not picking you, kind of thing. Bye. Put the phone down. I was left to my own devices. Didn't have a physio. Didn't have anyone looking after me, taking care of me, just me and my dog in the park. I used to go to the field down from my house, go and run laps around the field. My dog would chase me. That was me for three months, training on my own as hard as I can to, to get fit, to get picked for England, and, and it worked. And there's Lucy Bronze Strapball. Bronze, oh, terrifically done. Bring Just crossed in towards Lucy Bronze, hit it brilliantly. The World Cup was, every single moment for me was defining. Oh yes, an absolute belter. I've literally been like, oh my God, what have I just done? We've just won our first knockout game 
of a World Cup ever, ever, ever. And I was the one that scored this goal, the, the kid that never, ever shoots, never scores. I think that was kind of the moment when I thought, yeah, I'm like, I'm edging at the top now. From adversity comes strength and determination. And then this next game comes against Canada. Comes England free kick, looking for bronze, it's two! It's two! Every moment, whatever, was just like a highlight of my career. I know how lucky I am to play for England, to get given my football boots even, you know, things like that. But yeah, at the same time, we've had to work hard for it. As a female athlete, you've kind of got that role already in society that, you know, you, you have to fight this kind of battle that's going on. And it's part of your role as that person to motivate and inspire the next generation to help change things. And having gone through all that in the past, it makes you appreciate so much more that you get in the future.